Onyx. Boy, these guys are freaking having a good here. I gotta put some more cat shells up. Yeah, you're not going outside. No, no, no. And uh, I tell you what, these guys get along pretty good. There's uh, there's Putin. There's Goldie. And uh, I'm gonna do a, a, a video right after this. Uh, this is from uh, back when. Uh, here's Onyx again. <laughs> back when uh, Dixie was alive. You know, his little brother, Onyx's brother, and. They were like a family, you know. He she was here, and then little Mama Cat was there, and Boots was there, and you know I know Paws was still missing, but I think he's still. I think he's okay. I think somebody just stole him, you know. I think I think he's all right, but I won't let these guys outside because somebody put poison out there for I think the squirrels or the raccoons, and a lot of the cats got it too. So I haven't been seeing any cats, so. And Dixie was a cat, I just couldn't keep from wandering, but I'm going to show this clip right after this. Um, like, boy, was he happy. He was a happy little guy, man. And actually, I'm putting videos up on BitChute, so, you know, this, this YouTube thing is, like, ridiculous. Um, it's not the only one, I think, like, the, I was listening to the Corbett, Cor, Corbett Report on BitChute, and, uh, he was talking like his, you know, ever since I think around April or May 2019, basically all of us got hit. It's like, they just, he's getting hardly any subs and crap. It's like I get double views on freaking bitch you than I do on uh, um, YouTube with, with all my, see there they are, they're playing around, see? There they go. <laughs> they, they still have a fun in here. I got, I'm going to put more cat shelves up. I got a bunch of them. I probably got in foot and how many feet of them probably about 40 feet of cat shells plus other places they go up real high by the ceiling and, I mean I'm talking up by the ceiling not just the ledges I made see they're, they're running around they're having fun so they're inside but they're still playing around and actually um, Onyx and Goldie they really play around a lot man so They'll get along, see? <laughs> They'll go. Meow, 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 huh? Right? You guys are having fun? <laughs> so, here, go, here goes the other one. <laughs> so, I, the other inside, there's still. But they got they got pretty good romping places and stuff. I mean, they got all kinds of stuff out of here for them, pillows and everything. And actually, this guy, he likes sleeping on a bed with the spooky scalar unit. But yeah, I'm going to show you uh, Dixie after this. Boy, I can tell you, man, I, I started thinking really hard because I was looking back at all my Gold Digger videos on a playlist. And I really couldn't have done nothing with Dixie. If I got him fixed, I, he would have always been outside. I would have been putting these guys outside because he was outside. Something would have happened to one of them because it's just the way it is. I mean, if they're outside, there's something going to happen, especially with somebody. I think they're trying to poison squirrels or raccoons, to tell you the truth. Because all these cats around here, I mean, even a mile away, got something would happen with them. I don't know what. And, uh, I mean, I just couldn't have, Dixie just hated being inside. He was fearful of being inside. I mean, just scared of it. No matter what, even if I brought him in with treats and I brought him in with his mother and his mom, his brother, his mommy and his brother, he's still, I mean, after 10 minutes, he used to freaking be so petrified he'd pee. But then, you know, still he hated being inside. See, they're playing around, so. There you go. <laughs> it's mommy and mommy and son, right? Anyway. <laughs> so. There's my little friend over there. So. I take care of him, man. And I, I got an HHO video going up on BitTube. It'll, probably, it'll be up there before this video is up. So if you want to, I know BitTube, bitch, bitch shoot. Maybe I should, I could have called it something else in that thing. But I don't know, who the hell knows. At least there's a lot more information up there because, uh, I mean, you know, there, YouTube's going to survive its, on its old videos. And, you know, they're trying to, the old videos give it some credence still you know stuff that's been out there but pretty much everybody now that's anybody that's like an alternative channel I'm not gonna name them that's on YouTube and they're freaking being successful even if they're selling shit and they're not monetized they're bullcrap man I'm telling you right now 
I, I just don't want to put anything out on this channel that's uh, YouTube that's like, you know, even remotely <coughs> going against their communist guidelines. Uh, so, but right after this, you're going to see, uh, you know, Little Dixie. Uh, I think it's from June, June 28th. Uh, 19. He was like about a year old. Little Dixie, man. His mommy, brother. Boy, what a bunch of happy friends they were. There he goes again. Come on. You can tear the place up. <laughs> He's getting ready to go, too. <laughs> right? Yeah. Goldie, using Goldie and, and Onyx are freaking flying around. Right? Yeah. Yeah, you doo doos, huh? <laughs> That's why I gotta put it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to put like at least a few more feet of shelf up too. So uh, this way they got more freaking crap to get. You know, if I actually put shelves up in every room, on the top where they can go through the closets and everything else, they're gonna, they're gonna, you know, this guy, this guy here, he's a, he's a friendly little freaking yo-yo man, little Onyx. <laughs> Fox is great, man. Here goes Putin now. He's going to be eight years old. You believe this? I got him when he was like seven months old, man. I've had him all this time. He's going to be eight years old next next month, June seventh. Little Putin, the cat. <laughs> and you know, if I would have, if I would have realized Goldinger was an older cat, man, I'm looking back at those videos and I'm thinking to myself, I'm saying all the time, boy, it's something like she's not as lively. She doesn't want her. She can't. She seems like she's a little tired or something. I never. I always thought she was like one or two years old. She just looks. She's a small one. She was an older cat. But if I would have picked up on that, I would have gave her more better stuff, even than beyond what I was doing. I just never expected her to be an older cat. She, you know, I'm looking at her like she looked like a kitten. But I don't know, man. Do every damn thing I can. <laughs> I'm only uh, but <laughs> these guys. I'm glad they're happy, though. I mean, they're inside, but they're having fun. They're okay, man. Right? Yeah. Your tail's wagging back and forth. <laughs> they're getting ready to attack each other or some shit. What are we doing, huh? Yeah. Anyway, we'll see Dixie after this. There's uh, Goldie. Huh? Look who we got here, Goldie. Steal stealing my chair. So always stealing my chair. Just put him outside. And there's Dixie. Dixie, what are you doing, Bobo? You got a sweet face, you know that? This is mommy down there. That's mommy. All accounted for. I seen boots yesterday too, so he comes by. So you guys doing okay? Hey, I got another bursa I just picked up today. A little bursa for concealed, for concealed. One a little smaller than my other 380. I says, eh, I want something a little bit to fit my biker vest. When I was showing on the last video, I actually sewed a holster in it. And uh, I could fit the little 22 Beretta uh, Tomcat. Just like you, you're a Tomcat. And I could fit. That's it. <laughs> I can't snap it when I can't fit, you know, even the other um the burst of 22 I couldn't fit in there. It's 380 is a little smaller. Do a video on it later. Oh Cherokee Braves. I love that flag, man. Cherokee Braves, man. Anyway. I just took a double dose of uh colostrum, uh, which is like two two therapeutic doses, and you know, I kind of drank all of it during the day and says, well. I was telling the guy at the gun store about that stuff. He's like, yeah. I said, man, I, said, I don't know. I took so many supplements in my life. It's just, this colostrum is the only one that really seems to be doing a job. So, but I was, yesterday I got a little too busy to work out. I said, well, I broke the day there. So, but I still did two weeks in a row. I'll be there today. So, probably make up for it today. What I missed yesterday. So, I think that's the magic of the colostrum. So, Goldigger seems to be doing good on it. I've been putting a little bit of it on her fur too, so this guy he's gotta get it he gotta get fixed. He's a little Dixie, he's gotta get fixed, yeah. He don't wander much though. He kinda disappears a little bit, but he's always back here like three, four times a day. He usually hangs around with his brother and his mommy. Right? You like hanging around your mommy, don't you? Hmm? 
it's when we get that other brother back here we're gonna keep him <laughs> it's the hardest thing I got about moving it's these guys right here right here see these guys what do I do with them man can't leave them the hardest thing I get about moving up Tennessee is these guys right here man I'd have to have something all set up for them some something like fenced in with like a um, chain link fence as a roof so they can't get out you know an outdoor area it's up there to get other animals they used to have it over here I couldn't even, you know when I first came here I couldn't even leave a cat out here if I had one because they had foxes coming through here coyotes and this was all empty oh you went back that way it was like 10 12 miles and nothing down this old house is way back there there's even a house back there there's nothing there there's a house coming in over there it's like Jesus not right next to me but close enough so anyway yeah I've been reporting on that colostrum quite a bit lately and I think it's doing a job and I've been reading about how well it does record dogs and cats from veterinarians <laughs> right mama you guys these guys got a good man I love these guys man the little meow meows inside and the little guys inside they got the shells they got the cat shells they run around on and stuff so yeah I just hope they in a lot of ways I kind of hope the economy does go freaking crappy because I don't want more people moving to Florida this is getting ridiculous God. I picked that area of Tennessee where I got property up at they actually got they're, they're about half the population they had back in 1940 and they decreased population from 2010 to 2016 see here's the other brother Onyx that guy Onyx he's the sweetest cat man he freaking he, 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 you can tell man he's a super I don't know me and him are buddies big time because he, he's the one that's been around the one on the right he's been the one he's been the one that's been around with me like like I saw Dixie a little later his brother Paws which I know somebody stole Mr. Paws but I saw on Onyx has been you know hanging around me since he was a little gerbil <laughs> but that's why I want Dixie here too see his mama cat right there on the bottom that's his other that's one son that's the other son right there and Dixie Look like the tuxedo. Got all these pictures of him and stuff and videos. And he, he was down here <coughs> about a month and a half ago. Right there. Right there on the road. And then the car was pulling out. It was like 5 30 in the morning. He got scared and he went over there. When he was staring at me from right across the road, right there. For about a half an hour. That was back when I was finishing up the clutch on this. And so that was like, well, a couple months ago. Because that would have been um, sometime in April. And uh, almost a couple of months ago. And then uh, he disappeared, though, on Groundhog Day. Right around that time, February 2nd. He's been gone about four months. Except for that one time he popped back. Somebody stole him. Because he was hanging around these guys. I'm sure it was him. He knew it was his family. Him. I could pick him up no problem. He's a friendly guy. He just don't like being inside. He goes in there for a little bit. Sometimes he'll run in there. And then he'll just, you know, he'll be in there five minutes. Then all of a sudden he's waiting by the door. That's you, huh? <laughs> you cute little fella. You see, nobody, they're all cute. But, you know, nobody would steal him because he's, that's or her or him because there's nothing I mean there's a lot of cats that got you know patterns you know it's a normal pattern all black cat or like tiger stripe paws is guy he's like all black except for on the bottom he's like a tuxedo he's black and he's got a white bottom like he's wearing a tuxedo and he's got um, four white paws 
and he's got white whiskers. He's got a little white dot near on his nose, very faint. He has a couple little white strands of fur within his black, you know, near his hind legs especially. But if he's got four white paws, it looks like he's wearing boots, you know, like, like he got it from his daddy boots. So anyway, but I'll be doing a video on that bursa here pretty soon. I don't want to do too many gun videos because I don't think YouTube likes them too much, but. Well, I guess if you don't shoot it, they don't mind. <laughs> so, but I was looking for something that was, um, I was looking real careful, like at the, like I know, uh, I think Yankee Marshall don't like bursts. He says they're junk. I said, yeah, they're not. They're not junk. I mean, uh, the 9 mil one the military uses, that ain't junk. The, uh, the concealed carry ones, they're not made to put like a gazillion rounds through them. I mean, something on them might break after a while, but. Otherwise, they're real reliable, you know. I mean, they're not made to be like the military bursts, but um, the military handgun bursts, the 9 mil, like a 380 concealed carry bursts. I mean, they're, they're, they're still, you can put a gazillion rounds through them and use them concealed carry, but they're blowback operation. They're not built like the military grade ones. And so, I was looking for one that was a little smaller. It didn't have as much of a, I don't know what you call that, like a hump on the back between, I don't know, I'll have to show it to you later. And and uh, I did find one that fits in my, fits in my uh, leather uh, biker vest uh, with the concealed carry that I sewed a holster in. It fits in there and I can snap that compartment closed. I can't even fit the little 22 burst in there because it's got the magazine that hangs down. It's got that little bump in the back on a, you know, the little 22 burst is a hair bigger. So, but, you know, everything's got advantages and disadvantages, but this one's the best one, I think, for concealed carry. So, I'll do a video on it later. But, yeah, you guys, <laughs> that's why I want to have Paws over here because your whole family, see, the Paws was tight with him. Those two, Onyx and Onyx is up on the top there, and Dixie, that's Mama. Mama's almost the same age. I think she had these kittens when her first heat. I don't think she's even one years old when she had her kittens. And Boots got her pregnant, of course. <laughs> Boots, the Confederate cat. And Paws and him, they were like two peas in a pod. That's why I'm pissed off he's gone, man. I mean, I know he's being taken care of, but and, um, I want him with his brother, his other brother and his mama. Right. <laughs> We're gonna have some immortal cats here, so yeah, that's one of my things about moving up to Tennessee, and I don't really care too much right now because he's Rick to skin uh Rick. <laughs> Ron DeSantis is uh governor of Florida, which that helps. <laughs> if he didn't win I'd be like uh, be buying a trailer and getting the hell out of here, man. Getting out of Dodge. <laughs> and Gillum guy's getting investigated by the FBI right now, so anyway. By the way, Abrams, you got Abrams, Stacey Abrams, just to mention, like in, in Georgia in the last governor race. If you look on the Bilderberger site, she's uh, an attendee. She's been invited, which tells you she's a pawn of the big money, which you can figure anyway, but. That's more confirmation. She's actually on a Build a Burger site, man. <laughs> She's there as an attendee at the 2019 meeting. If you don't know what the Build a Burgers are, probably uh, YouTube's going to pick that up on her filters. But you know, I figured I'd mention. I didn't even just plan on mentioning that, but but you know, I figured I'd mention it. So, as usual, politics and money—they're all attached. Big money wants something. The people want something else. Or if the people are on their toes, they want something else. You know. That's Mama Cat right there playing with her son. See that? Yeah, that's Mama Cat. She's a little kid. They're all, they're all now, now Dixie and the sons are over one years old. Not by much. A few weeks maybe. A year and a few weeks. Yeah, that sweet pie onyx. 
<laughs> I love that little guy, man. I love all my cats, man. You're all right. You're all right. You got the Confederate cat farm over here, man. So, right. You watched over by Roscoe P. Coltrane, right? <laughs> See how they are? That's BS than humans, that's for sure. Humans, you can't trust them. <laughs> well, it depends on who it is. And, uh, the truth, they usually trust the Italians more than anybody. Maybe that's why, you know, there's no nonsense, no phoniness. No phony. No phony, phony stuff. The more polite they talk, the less I trust them. The way I am. It's a good rule of thumb. Look at him. It's like, you yeah, think just, he's got his body all twisting around and shit. Look at him. Yeah, he just like it here. Yeah. <laughs> See these guys, man. Really? Anyway. <laughs> these are the new ones that came in, man. <laughs> Boots Briggs' his girlfriend, and she got three kittens. I said, "Hey, we're coming in. You got, we got you." So, but everybody's taken care of. They're all good to go. Everybody inside, everybody outside. <laughs>